Yeah. Cool. Okay, we're going to start with this question from Jeff. He says, hi, Pat. During his lifetime, Edgar Casey claimed that many, if not most, of our health problems stemmed from the gut. Were his so-called trance reading satanic, or was he a, a charlatan? I know he claimed to be a Christian. Uh, well, you know, he had some insights, but uh, uh, I, I'm afraid he was... He was demonic. The things that he had were, were not of God, but he, he was the sleeping prophet. He had all these revelations and gifts and things, but I don't think they came from the Lord. But the fact that he had an insight into certain uh, medical uh, conditions is, is not unusual, because he, 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 he was right on a certain number of things. But, um, you know, it's, it's like strychnine. You, you know, it takes a few percentages of it to destroy you and kill you. Uh, it doesn't mean that there can't be a whole lot of benign things in it, but uh, uh, he started the uh, Association of Research and Enlightenment, which was very, very strong here in Virginia Beach when I arrived. And but, basically a new age. New, oh, well, it's, it's new age beyond new yeah, age, yeah. but he had many, many followers, and uh, he would give readings to people, and then they got so way out. I mean, you, you cannot believe some of the nonsense that went on, so it, it, it was not of God, all right? All right, Candace says, Pat, I need help. I am 28 and using meth. I hurt so much and I am so messed up. 11 years of this, I've been raped and abused so many times. What can I do? Uh, I think you are a human being that you have power as a human being and your spirit is crying out in that question you want help, so you recognize you've got a problem. That's the first step, is knowing you've got a problem. Now you, you're asking for what is the answer. You have got to take control of your life. You are under the uh, domination of this uh, chemical, and it's destroying you, and the, you've had a lot of bad things happen. So what do you, you do? You're going to say, I'm going to take charge of my life. And for 21 days, I will not take methamphetamine. I will not take any drugs. I will not take any stimulants. I will not do it. And I, it's 21 days. Today, I'm not going to do it. Next day, today, I'm not going to do it. The next day, I'm not going to do it. After 21 days, you will have formed a habit that says, I'm no longer a meth addict, and you're going to start living for the Lord. But in the meantime, give yourself to Jesus and let the Holy Spirit come into your life to transform you, all right? Good advice. Okay, Joe says, I have a question about tongues and interpretations. Often the Holy Spirit gives me a message to bring to the congregation, but most times it's only in English. I usually know what the message is a few days in advance because it develops during my Bible reading and God gives the opportunity to deliver it on Sunday. Occasionally, though, it comes out in tongues first, and then the interpretation. Why does it sometimes begin in English and other times in tongues? Is this biblical? Wouldn't ever want to do anything wrong. No, I, I, I don't know all the things going on in your life, but uh, <laughs> I, I think deep inside you've got a desire to preach, and uh, what's happening is you want to preach, and uh, you think it's a message, but it's, it's the message that you want to deliver to a congregation. Mm -hmm. And uh, so may maybe you ought to seek an outlet where you have an opportunity to teach or preach as well. But uh, sometimes you've got a message in tongues and sometimes it's in English. That's okay. It's not, I don't see any difference to that. Yeah, I don't right. think he's doing anything wrong. <laughs> no, not any, that's right. Okay, Marilyn says, I have questions about the Build a Better Gut series. I had my large intestine removed due to ulcerative colitis. Will I benefit from following this diet? Will probiotics work for me? Thanks for everything you do for us. I, I think it'll be in the small intestine, which is the big thing that the, the large intestine, the fact that you had ulcerated colitis, just from a med medical standpoint, the reason that you get that is because you don't have enough fiber and uh, feces remain in your uh, large intestine too long and, and you need fiber and that's what caused it. But if you had the uh, appropriate gut biome, you wouldn't have had that ulcerated colitis. I'm amazed they took your large intestine out. That, that seems very radical, but I, I'm not a doctor, so I don't know exactly why they did it. But will this help the rest of you? Absolutely. 
it, the, most of the gut biome will be in the large intestine, not in the, in the small intestine, which is a small thing that's meant to take a little water out of your excrement. But anyhow. Apple a day will do wonders. Apple. All right. Thank you very much.